Hello, this is Mr. Molo for lesson 5-8, slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. All right, so for this lesson, we need to know the difference between parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Remember, parallel lines are like railroad tracks. Um, they're never going to touch. Perpendicular lines are the opposite. They touch, and they touch at 90-degree angles. So not just the fact that they're lines that are touching, but, they kind of, but when they touch, they kind of make like that perfect T. Um, so we need to know what a parallel line is and a perpendicular line. So parallel lines, and the most important part here, is that they have the same slope. Their slopes are equal. Okay, so if we're looking at a graph like this one over here, let's blow it up a little bit, we know that these are going to be parallel lines because it says y equals 3x plus 100 and y equals 3x plus 50. Remember, 3 is their slope there because it's the number next to x. So they are both the same, so I know that they are going to be parallel. Uh, here's another example. So y equals 3x minus 7, and y equals 3x plus 4. Again, both of them have a slope of 3, so I know my lines are going to be parallel. And you'll see a little note down here. We may need to switch them into slope-intercept form or standard form, depending on whatever is easiest in order for us to see the slope. All right, for here, let's pretend that this picture isn't here and we can't tell which ones are going to be parallel. Let's just look at the lines. Okay, so it looks like for this first line here, I have 5 thirds as my slope. Um, the second one here, I have y equals x. Remember, there's a 1x there. Uh, my third line, I have y equals 5, I have 5 thirds as my slope. And this last one is an x again, so 1x. So which ones are going to be parallel? So let's put these in different colors so we can tell. So this one right here with the 5 thirds x, and this one right here with the 5 thirds x are going to be parallel. And then we have these right here, and this right here in green are going to be parallel because they both have the 1x. Okay, and if we go over here and look at the slope, uh, or at the picture I mean, we can kind of tell. Here's the 5 thirds x plus 4. Here's the 5 thirds x minus 2. Yep, those lines are parallel. And if we look at these two lines, y equals x, y equals x plus 1, they both have a slope of 1 there, 1x, one and yep, they are going to be parallel. All right, what about problems like this? We notice that we have some issues here because these last two are not in uh, slope-intercept form. So we're going to rewrite them so they are in slope-intercept form. So for this first one, we need to... Subtract 2x from each side. Subtract 2x. So I'm left with 3y equals negative 2x plus 8. And then once I divide both sides by 3, I figure out my slope is negative two-thirds. So there's my negative two over three, which looks to be the same as this one right here, which also has a negative two over three slope. So then we find out that these two lines end up being parallel because they both have a negative two-thirds slope. All right, let's erase that, and let's look at these other two and see if they're parallel. On the homework, just don't select two that are parallel. Um, because you know the other ones are parallel, that's not always going to be the case. Um, so don't just say, oh, these two are parallel, so the other two must be parallel. That's not going to be true. Okay, so here, once I distribute that 3, I end up with y plus 1 equals 3x minus 3. And then once I subtract 1 from both sides, I end up with y equals 3x minus 4. And like I said, we should not just assume that they're going to be parallel because we find out that they are not parallel because this is a 2x and this is a 3x. They are not parallel. They do not have the same slope. So these two are the only two that are going to end up being parallel. Perpendicular, okay? So perpendicular lines, their slopes are opposite reciprocals. And what that means, that means they are literally the exact opposite. Okay, so something like this, positive 3 over 1, 
the exact opposite of positive 3 over 1 is negative 1 third. Okay, so I went from a positive 3 over 1 to a negative 1 over 3. Kind of the same thing here. Positive 2 thirds, opposite reciprocal is negative 3 over 2. Okay, opposite reciprocal of 1 over 5 is negative 5 really over 1. Uh, opposite reciprocal of negative 7 is really 1 over 7. Okay, let's look at this, and again, let's kind of forget about the graph for a second. Let's look at ones that have opposite slopes. So I have y equals 3 and x equals negative 2. So if we look at this graph here, y equals 3 is going to be a no-slope line, and x equals negative 2 is going to be an undefined line. So those two are going to be opposites. There's, can't get much more opposite than zero and undefined. So those are going to be opposite. And then if we look at these two in the middle, we have y equals 3 and y equals negative 1 third. And again, those are opposites. 3 over 1, opposite of 3 over 1 is negative 1 over 3. Okay, we'll have some problems like this where we need to find another line here. And it says it is parallel to this line here. So then we know our slope is going to be the same. So if our slope's the same and we have two points here, we're going to use y equals mx plus b, oops, plus b, to figure out that our lines are the same. Okay? So I know my y here is 10 equals my m is going to be 3 since I know it's the same. My x is 4 plus b. So I end up with 10 equals 12 plus b. Subtract 12 from both sides. b equals negative 2. And then we're going to rewrite it in slope-intercept form. So y equals, my slope is 3. And my I just found out my y-intercept was negative 2. Okay, so remember, it told me it was parallel. I know parallel slopes have the same. So I know my slope is going to be 3. Unlike this problem, who says it's perpendicular, and my slope is 2. Well, the exact opposite, the opposite reciprocal of 2, is negative 1 half. So then I know my slope now is negative 1 half. And I'm still going to be doing the same thing, so y equals mx plus b. And now I know my y is negative 1, my x is 2, and I just found out my slope was negative 1 half. So negative 1 equals, um, let's just do negative 0. 0.5 times 2 plus b. Okay, half of, or negative a half of 2 is negative 1, so I end up with negative 1 equals negative 1 plus b. And then once I add 1 to both sides, that's going to end up canceling out. So plus 1 plus 1 is going to give me 0. So I end up with y equals negative 1 half x plus 0. Okay, and those two lines are going to end up being perpendicular to one another if I really wanted to graph them to find out. Okay, remember perpendicular, it was opposite of the slope it gave me, so opposite of 2, negative 1 half, parallel lines have the same slope.